Yes, you. Have you ever had your heart broken? Oh. Well, yes, I have. You see, <coughs> when I was a young girl, I didn't, I wasn't all that you see before you now. <laughs> I was, was very slight, and I didn't know what to do with myself. I was always getting my heart broken. Before I even fell in love, really, I would get my heart broken when I woke up in the morning. It would just break. <laughs> I would just, it would just break constantly, everything. And as you can imagine, I was in a state of constant mourning. So it was difficult for me to attract anyone. But then I met Sinister Grey, who was the emperor of the Marillion galaxy. And you can imagine for a girl like me, that was very exciting. And he was so kind. He took me under his wing and he, he taught me, he taught me that I was more powerful than I thought. And he taught me to use that power for good and eventually, we were married. We ruled together over the Marillion Galaxy for a hundred million years. But then we began fighting constantly. <laughs> we disagreed about what to do, how to administer the colonies, and what it meant Ultimately, I did not want to rule over anything. We had a horrible falling out. We haven't spoken in hundreds of millions of years. And I never fell in love again. I've devoted myself to helping others. Or at least that's what I tell myself. I've heard that he does live around here. <laughs> <laughs> the story is that I've heard from several of his friends is that he lives in a rent stabilized apartment <laughs> on Avenue C. <laughs> he doesn't work much. <laughs>